Welcome! In front of me I have Huawei Nova Y90 and I'm gonna show you a few tricks you can use on this device. First I'm gonna show you how to change the system navigation type on this phone. So let's open the settings on our phone by tapping on the settings icon and settings, let's scroll down, find the option called system and updates and tap on it. And here you can select the system navigation by tapping on it. And we are in the system navigation menu. And we have two types of navigation. We have the gestures, which is basically you need to perform the gesture to navigate the system, like swiping from the edge to the middle of the screen um, to go back like this. If you want to open the recent tasks, you need to swipe up from the bottom of the screen and hold on the screen for the second or two like this. And if you want to go to the home screen, you need to swipe up from the bottom of the screen like this. If you don't like the gestures, you can always use the free key navigation. So if you select this option, it will bring this uh, navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. And here you have buttons like recent tasks, home screen or home button, <coughs> and the back button. And you can also customize the free key navigation by tapping on the settings right here. And you have different order of buttons. So for example, the back button goes to the right side, the uh, recent tasks button go to the left side. You have also the options with one more additional button. And this button allows you to open the uh, notification panel quickly by tapping on it. You can also enable the option to hide the navigation bar. And you can then tap this icon right here to hide it. And to bring it back, you need to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Okay. Uh, you can also go back to the navigation, system navigation menu. And here we have the more option. And if you tap on it, you can enable the navigation dock. And this allows you to use this weird dot on the screen to navigate the system. You can enable it, the dot will appear. And you can tap on it to go back like this, press and hold on it then release it to go to the home screen. And if you want to open the recent tasks, you need to press and hold it, drag to the left or right, release it to open the recent tasks menu. Okay, I'm gonna disable it. And that's about it when it comes to the navigation. Let's go back to the settings. And now I'm gonna show you how to use the multi-window feature. So. In settings, find the option called Accessibility Fe Features. Tap on it, select the multi-window, and here make sure that the multi-window is enabled. And once you enable this option, <coughs> it allows you to open this little dock in which you have the list of applications, and it allows you to quickly open the applications in the uh, split screen mode and the uh, window pop-up mode. So once you enable the multi-window, you can open the dock by swiping uh, from the edge of the screen to the middle. And once you see this icon right here, you can release it to open the menu like this. And as you can see, this duck opens and here we have the list of applications and we can use it in a couple of ways. We can tap on the icon of the app to open it in pop-up window like this. And here we have it. We can resize the window by grabbing it on the corner and swiping. We can move the window by pressing and holding on this bar right here and moving it. We can maximize the application by tapping on this button. And we can also minimize the application by tapping on this button. It will move it to this uh, side button. Right? I mean, you will see this icon right here on the side and you can move it around. Uh, you can uh, tap on it to open the app, bring it back. <coughs> And you can also close the apps by tapping on X and they will disappear completely. Let's open the dock again. Like this. And now let's say I want to open the apps in split screen. So first I'm gonna open uh, something, maybe gallery. This will open it in pop-up window. Then we can press and hold on the bar and then move it to the top, I believe. No. First, we need to maximize it. So let's open one of the apps. Okay, so now let's say we have one app opened. Now we can open the dock quickly. Come on. 
like this. And let's say I want to open the browser and I have I want to have the gallery and browser uh, on the screen at the same time. So I'm gonna press and hold on the browser icon and now we can move it on the screen and we have options to uh, drop it at the top of the screen and bottom of the screen like this. And once you release it, it will enter the split screen mode like that. And we can uh, change the ratio of the screen by pressing and holding on this bar right here like that. And if you want to exit the split, sc split screen mode, you can uh, always grab the bar. I believe uh, you can move it somewhere to exit it, but I might be wrong. Oh yeah, you can move it to the side basically to exit the split screen mode. Or you can... Um, you can grab this bar and drag it to the bottom or the top of the screen, like this. Okay. In the dock, you can also um, basically find more apps. As you can see, by default, you have only a list of apps right here, couple of them. You can tap on this icon right here to open the whole list. You have search bar, you have the list of icons right here, and you can open different apps in split screen or pop-up window mode. Uh, be aware that some of the apps don't support this feature. So, for example, settings, uh, won't allow you to open in split screen mode. So if I have these set settings opened and I try to open the split screen mode, it won't allow it because the settings don't support it. Okay. Now, let's go back to settings and I want to show you something else. So let's open the accessibility features again in settings. And here we have the option called 100 mode. And this feature allows you basically to uh, shrink the screen on your phone to make it easier to use your phone with only one hand, basically. And if you enable this option and you want to enter the one hand mode, it depends on the uh, type of navigation you're using on your phone. But if you're using the free, uh, free key navigation, you simply swipe left or right on the uh, recent tasks button to open the one hand mode like this. So let's say you want to uh, you want the screen to shrink to the right side, you swipe right on the recent tasks button. And if you want to uh, for the screen to shrink to the left side, you swipe left. And once you open the 100 mode, you can see that the screen got smaller, it's gonna be easier to use with only one hand. And if you want to exit the mode, simply tap on the black area around like this. Okay, let's go back to the accessibility features. And here we have option called shortcut and gestures. And I want to show you a couple of things here. So let's tap on it. And here we have a couple of features like ultra snapshot, take a screenshot, record screen, wake up screen, and mute slash ringtone, reduce volume. If you tap on ultra snapshot, you can basically set up a shortcut for the uh, volume down button. So if your uh, screen is turned off, you can press the volume down button twice quickly, and you can select to take a snapshot. So basically take a picture, open the camera up or turn it off. By default, it's gonna be open the camera. So if you turn off the screen, press the uh, volume down button twice, it's gonna open the camera up like this. Okay. If you select the snapshot, it's gonna basically take a screenshot or not a screenshot, but the photo. So like that. And if you, of course, select off, it's gonna be disabled. Next, we have the take a screenshot option. And here we can basically enable and disable two features, knuckle screenshots and the three finger screenshot. So and by default, the features are enabled and they allow you to, for example, take a screenshot on your phone by knocking on the screen with the knuckle. Like this. And you can enable or disable this option by tapping the switch right here, of course. You can also enable or disable the three finger screenshot. This option allows you to take a screenshot by swiping down on the screen with three fingers, like this. Okay. Let's go back. Next, we have record screen. And this option allows you to start the screen recording by knocking on the screen with two knuckles. Oh, my bad. Let's try again. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, it worked. So basically with two knuckles, so you can knock on the screen to enable the screen recording. And you can enable or disable this option. Next we have wake, wake screen and here you can enable the option rise to wake. Basically if you lift the phone and the screen is turned off, it will wake up. And you can enable or disable this option. And last option is mute ringtone slash reduce volume. And if you enter here, you can enable and disable the options like flip to mute ringtone and rise to reduce volume. So if you enable this option, you can flip your phone face down to mute the call, basically ringtone. And if you enable this option, you can raise your phone to reduce the volume. Quite simple. Okay. And I believe that's about it. So, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.